One of Hedy's 2018 Next Raider nominees, Zoro Swagbag, has disagreed with those saying he sounds like Fino. Though he said he has learned to live with that popular opinion, he insists that he wouldn't have been nominated at the Hedys if he sounded like his eastern brother Fino. It's, it's no longer news. Like, it's something that I've, I've learned how to live comfortable with. You know? So there's nothing no one says that, to me, that gets to me. Like, once I know, I, I try as much as possible to stay true to myself. This is me sounding like me, not trying to sound like anybody. So from one set, before even Fino had like, the, the uh, shut down and ghost modes and stuff, I was featured in Ousagi. I rapped in Ousagi. I rapped, I did a Nibo uh, a verse in Ousagi that I rapped in, you know. And I, there was no, Fino was there, but he was rapping in English as at that time. So I cannot be sounding like what I don't know. I've been doing this. Just take it back to the song and check me out now. It's still the same voice, same same guy, same tone, same everything. You know, like like I said before, people are always obsessed with any, anything that comes out first. If the opportunity to be the one to maybe change the trend, just like let me say the shaku shaku that that's, that's trending now. If you ever try to do shaku shaku, they will say you're sounding like Slim Case or um, Mr. Rio. That's what you get. And I feel bad for thinking like that at some point in my life. Like, you know, when I said listen to Yoruba rap, like I thought this guy was sounding like this other person, but it was my fault. Because I didn't give it time to actually pay attention and listen to these guys carefully. When I got to actually do all these things, I started blaming myself for all those years I wasted trying to think that this guy was sounding like the other guy. So time will tell. Like, I just keep doing what, what I'm doing. Like, I, I finally see where we are. If I'm sounding like you now, I'll not get to hear this now. People that know, know. So people that want to know, let them continue staying where they are. We'll still clear that doubt. Doubt to you. I get clear doubt to you. On whether he feels threatened by the likes of Flavor and Fino, who are more established Eastern Nigerian artists, he had this to say. Uh, there, there's, there's an amount of money Flavor cannot collect. There's an amount of money Fino cannot collect. And then, um, all of a sudden, they get to leave room for people that are trying. So, uh, most of the time, like, the way it is most of the time is, if you're not paying a flavor, you're paying a fino. If you're not paying a fino, you're paying me. It's like that, most of the time. So I don't think it affects nothing. And then I've been able to the songs that I record. I try to, I try to my target audience. I try to balance my songs, <coughs> so that that chairman in India with that is selling parts, will see reasons to call me for a gig. And those boys in UNN and those girls that say wearing skinny jeans, new, 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 new. They will still see reasons to call me for a gig. So I try to balance my songs when I record them so that I'll have materials I can sell for different um, occasions. So I don't think anybody's affecting anybody's stuff. Yeah, so there are, there are occasions, there are you know, stuff that you know, are meant for flavor. There are ones meant, meant for fino. And there's one, my, my ones are meant for me too. So when it comes, I, I go get them. Furthermore, Zora gave thanks to God for everything he has achieved so far, saying he's trying so hard to surpass his father's fit in everything he does. I think um, God has been great to me. God has been wonderful to me. Judging from when my, you know, when I, I got my breakthrough, like from 2016 till now, again it was 2016, like the whole of 2016, nothing really happened. It was towards the end of the year, then 2017, like, you know, I said, okay, getting the, you know, whole, whole thing together. 2017, I got, I got an, um, I got um, an endorsement. I am an ambassador. And then, same 2017, I bought a G-Wagon and I paid in full. Do you get me? And then, um, lately, I, I got um, a Dodge Challenger you know, to go with the G-Wagon. Because my dad did not have car. He did not even have bicycle that his mates were buying. So I decided to change my daddy's story. Everything that I'm doing is the opposite of what, what my dad did at my age. And then, um, all these things that... I get to announce these things or put them up on social media. I don't put them up because I want to flaunt them. No. It's not my mates that are buying estates. It's not my mates that, it's my mates that are buying Chevron, are buying estates everywhere in Abuja and in Lagos. So all these things are just very little stuff. But why I, why I would put up things like that on social media is because I want to motivate that guy out there. That guy that, that thinks you know, that you know, music or choosing this path would not pay. But that guy that, you know, it's, it's a way of motivating this guy out there, that guy that is looking for a reason to continue hustling.